Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your friend Unite the Clans. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe if you like this game. This will be um, the first time on the channel. My plan was for this to be my first time playing it, but I do have a little experience. I tried recording and I ran into an issue where my only choice was to start another new game. So I figured I'd restart the recording and we'd go through this together. Let's dive in. Standard versus Zen. No dangerous animals versus a few dangerous animals. Let's do that one. And normal seems about the right balance for me. Most of the animals are friendly. Bears are not one of them, so it's a good idea to keep a distance. However, they usually roam around some interesting loot. That is a lesson I learned in my initial attempt, guys. So what happens when you meet the bear? If you get too close, he swipes you and you start bleeding. And if you don't have the goods to create a, a kit, then you have to reload your last save game. Unfortunately, I saved while bleeding. Lessons learned. Uh, and uh, I didn't have the goods to save myself. So we're going to begin again together. And there's still a lot for me to learn. I put in maybe an hour of gameplay. Uh, so together, we'll kind of pick up and I'll teach you what I know. So you begin the game here in this very, very exceedingly pretty world and this is an early access game it is only on uh the epic game store right now there's a steam page for it but it hasn't been released it's in pre-alpha as you can see by the top of my page and it's sort of an exploration game with a little bit of crafting and building and you begin here around the ruins of your first uh of, of your your cabin now if you walk up to the front of the cabin in this green little indicator it tells you what you need uh, two more planks and six more sticks and we will be able what is the other option there note items t oh so i can put that on my screen that is quite cool see i'm still learning and uh obviously we have indicators at the bottom right that's our hunger and there are items like these button mushrooms if we head to our backpack that you can eat raw and we're gonna have to do that here in the early stages until we expand our initial cabin I'll show you that once we get the first one built. So we'll grab all the basic edibles, and we're basically looking for more sticks, but I know we want all these planks as well. Grab more mushrooms for ourselves. And we need six, four more sticks. So let's go ahead and grab those, and then we'll build up our cabin. I'm moving a little quicker this time. But uh, after this, we'll get to go do some exploration together, and we'll go see what we can find in the world. Hopefully not the bear. I'll save that for episode two if I can control this sort of thing. Uh, more sticks. Aha, right here. You can sprint, you can jump. And the sprint is pretty good. You can move uh, a good long distance with it. So the game is sort of like... A it's not in the vein of a Minecraft. The building is not sort of like a creative building. All it is is this build so now we have a cabin we can sleep we can save and we have storage note to you do not save while bleeding out unless you have the resources to stop yourself from bleeding out or you will end up right back here at the beginning of the game open this up so here's our little place we have to wait till nighttime to sleep here's our storage container so we'll go ahead and put our sticks and our wood in there we'll save our edibles this is where you save good time to do it i'm not dying and we have extensions that we can build storage addict you can see we need 28 planks we don't have anywhere near that many wire and nails we don't have any of those items here bolts and driftwood as well as 12 planks we're going to start with this one 12 planks and we'll do this on our screen notes three steel wire and two stump moss so once we do that we can craft ourselves some tools including an axe which m means we have sort of an endless supply of uh, sticks and planks, which will allow us to build the other parts of the cabin. For us, which way do we go? I hear a river, so let's see if we can get ourselves towards it. I don't know that I remember which way is which, but um, we are mainly going to look for... Is this the river? Yes, it is. Okay, so what you will find out in this world are giganto structures like that and if we head towards things like that we will find ourselves a ready supply of the kind of materials that we need early on to craft and it seems like each of the uh 
Each of the extensions seemed to require some sort of artificial material like nails and bolts, and then something that you get from nature like uh, driftwood or the moss from a tree stump. But very, very, very pretty game. Too pretty, if you ask me. Is there such a thing? Maybe it's just too adorable, this game. But, uh, you guys, uh, this was recommended to me by someone watching my Long Dark videos, and they said this reminded them a little bit of the Long Dark. It's much more chill. It's not nearly as terrifying and, uh, hardcore a survival game. This is more of a laid-back... It's not quite one of those exploration, endless walking games. Look at that. That was like a little purple blue jay. How adorbs. But we need to find that, that big structure that I can see in the distance. And I know if we get there, we should be able to find some of what we need. Although I have not been looking for the stumps. Keep your eyes open for stumps, UTC, and you will find them. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome. Maybe you've come just for this game. If you're a longtime viewer, welcome back. I'm glad that I'm kind of in this mode and wanting to play more games with you guys. It's very fun. You know, I've forgotten what it's like sometimes. So, lockpick required for this, and an axe required for this. So all we can do for now is pick up the materials that we find loose on the ground, and the ones that are in these sort of caches. So we'll take the bolts and the rope. Bolts were required for some project that we'll eventually want to take on. And we'll grab wire and a steel pipe. I'm not sure what you do with the steel pipe yet. We will figure that out together. I did not see that in our crafting recipes. The thing I know I didn't have enough of was these old rags. You need two to make a, a med kit. And I think that's probably a good early on priority because if we do run into the bear, uh, you're going to want a med kit. Otherwise, you're going to die and go back to your old save game. So, what? We need steel wire, which we've got. Stump moss and more planks. Are there more planks here? Let me do a nice tour around this little region and make sure I don't miss anything obvious. Oh, we're going to have to go looking for another one of these towers, aren't we? Yes, we are. I don't see enough planks here to really keep us... to get us on to the next phase of the game, guys. So... Here you go. This is obviously a long time ago that this was here. There's big, big trees growing on the inside of it, which whoever the creators are, I don't think that's what... Oh, stuck. There is a thing in the menu. If you hit escape, guys, I'm stuck. And you can jump back 20 seconds in time uh, in case it's super early access, pre-alpha. So if you did, say, find yourself in a hole that you couldn't excavate yourself from, then uh, you could... Uh, oh, this is a good thing to show you. I found a bunch of these. Now this, if we hit our inventory, you can see I can eat these mushrooms cooked or raw. Resources, they don't give you too much difference, but if we eat them raw, that will keep us from starving. Then there are other items like this, which can only be cooked. So that's going to be maybe for tomorrow's episode. For today, oh boy. Okay, not dangerous, and nothing to collect from it. So what we need to do is try and spot ourselves another another structure, another location for loot. This is another edible, and one that we can use, I think, to make the map? I got a little bit further in the game. I, I recorded, like I said, about an hour of gameplay, and I explored a good bit of the world. It is not tiny. Now, it's not endless, there are edges, but I, wa I followed an edge for a long time, and I, I went quite far. And I don't think we're going to want to do some mega exploration until uh, we have the map and maybe the compass, which are things we're going to be able to craft once we build our crafting room. So for now, it's planks. That's our primary priority. And stumps. Keep your eyes open for stumps, UTC. I'm not looking for them at all. What adult. Hoof fungus, inventory full. That's okay, I don't think that one's edible. Is there fall damage? Nope. Nope, nope. Okay, so why don't we orienteer towards home? And if we happen to see another structure on our way, so be it. But if not, then we'll just drop these goods at home and we'll set out. You can see the indicator in the top right of your screen 
the sun is setting. So we'll get home, we'll sleep and save and stash these resources and tomorrow we'll go out on another sort of uh, exploration and try and find another structure where we can locate the planks that we need. Once we do that, we'll have an unlimited supply of planks because we can build the crafting uh, extension to our home and from there we can build ourselves an axe which is going to change the game. We'll be able to chop down trees and sticks and, and planks which right now are difficult commodities to come by, we will have an endless supply because every one of these trees can be turned into sticks and planks. So there you go, we're home. We've seen bunnies and birds. I think that's it so far. And here we go. Okay, so it's kind of cool you can mark on your screen the things you need. I didn't notice that earlier. So we now have six planks. How many do we need? Twelve, right? Uh, crafting room. 12. Oh, why am I doing this? So tomorrow, two stumps and another six planks. I think they stack up to 10, so we'll put two away as well as all of these random bits of loot that we found for ourselves today. I'll keep that on me. Okay, and we'll put away anything that's not edible now as well as two berries, because if memory serves eventually, once we have enough cloth to make the uh, med kit, the, med uh, the first aid kit, we'll use our next two pieces of cloth to make the map. So let's sleep. And this is a little bit disorientating. Yeah, go straight horizontal. I will see you for day two. Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. So the structure that we went to last time was in that a direction. Why don't we pick a different direction to go for today? Yeah, let's go this way. And we came home via that, that way. So I think we can go out this way and we'll kind of keep our eyes peeled on the horizon for big, oh yeah. Sorry, my mouse has this habit of 180ing me every once in a while. It, oh, this was easy. Right in our backyard. Okay, okay. Give me a sec, guys. Let me sort out my mouse. Okay, once we have the axe, we'll also be able to open these crates. But we should find enough planks in this immediate area. And maybe the bits of cloth as well that we need. Uh, and then we can start exploring a little bit further on be beyond our, our immediate borders of our cabin. Kind of cool your character crouches down every time you pick something up. That's kind of neat. I like that. Lots of these uh, steel pipes. I have to figure out exactly what they're for. Um, I think from the trailer there was a greenhouse addition, although I don't see it uh, from our initial cabin. So maybe it extends off of an extension. That would be kind of cool if your cabin just kept growing and growing. That was in the trailer too. You saw that kind of rough idea of how that works. Nails and old rags. That's good news for us. And I'm pretty sure we have everything we need now. I left four planks at home, I believe. But let's keep searching. Let's grab everything there is in seeds. So no space in inventory. Okay, let's see if I can eat something and open up the inventory a little bit. Okay. Hopefully we don't find too many new items, but we're close to home, so if we have to double back here, Nice and easy. Alright. Anything else glowing? So, boxes that require a lockpick and... Uh, boxes that require the axe to open. In the meantime, we just have to grab what's immediately available in our vicinity. But I think other than the stump moss, I have what we need. So now we set out to find that. I keep forgetting to look for stumps. Let's take sort of a long route home, and we will keep our eyes open. I think what we're looking for is sort of an old stump, one that's from a tree that's fallen long ago, because there's signs of fresh-cut trees. Those don't have any obvious moss on them. <clears throat> and there's always an indicator for where home is, which is kind of nice. Maybe if we go closer to the river... Uh, is this a stump? No, that's a rock. 
All right, let me orienteer a little bit, guys. If I find my inventory full, if I find my way to a stump, I'll show you what the moss looks like. So if you're playing this game along at home, among trees, you will be able to uh, follow along and complete this stage yourself. But uh, so far, I haven't found what we're looking for. I'm going to keep looking. This might be it. No, that's another beehive. But we're down to the river. There's another stump. That's the kind we need. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Running too much. Okay, so we need one more of these. Inventory full. Let me solve that. All right. So one more stump on the way home and we will have everything we need. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Bring you back when I've found everything we need. There. Perfect. I think that's the exact same stump and I bet it'll have some moss for us. Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay. So that's it, guys. I definitely left enough planks at home to complete this structure. So let's get ourselves home and we will expand our uh, little cabin. All right. Let's poke our heads inside here, my friends. All right. That closes itself. Let's open this up. We'll put away our nails and our bolts. Our pipe. Actually, I need three wire, right? And our put away our rope. And we'll grab a couple more planks and I think... Ooh, I have just enough. Just enough to do this. Build! Uh-huh, crafting room. You can now craft tools, resources, and objects. Let's poke our heads in here and see what some of these things are. We can make nails from wire. We can make bolts from pipe. Okay, that's cool. We can make plate metal from pipe and bolts. Reinforced planks, which I assume will come into the game here at some point. Steel pipe and nails. Sewing thread requires fish bones, so I assume there's a fishing rod. Dogbane stems. I saw those out there, but I couldn't pick them up. And glue, which includes resin, ash leaves, which I've seen, and lime mineral, which I bet requires a pickaxe, which is locked for us. But the woodsman's axe we can make. We need two wire, two bolts, and four rope. I'm going to see if we have that. Two wire two bolts and one two three four rope let's make ourselves an axe and always smart to do that as long as you're not bleeding out lessons learned craft dang okay and it appears right here on our workbench let's head outside and we will try this guys so our next extension requires 12 planks so let's get ourselves that the bolts and the driftwood, I don't have enough of yet. So we're going to need to go, uh, we're going to need to find driftwood, which I think is along the river. We're going to need to find bolts at another one of those tower locations. Now that we have the axe, we can go back to one of the ones we were at previously. And we will uh, be able to open up some of those crates. So you, I think it takes eight chops. And watch this. It actually falls over. Boom! And then it turns into resources like this. So, three planks per tree. I'm going to chop down uh, three more trees, and I'll stash all the stuff we need, uh, except for what we don't have. I'll stash all of that inside the cabin. And, um... Yeah, what else should we accomplish for episode one? Things moved a little quicker. So maybe we make the cooking section... Or a med kit. Med kit's probably the smartest thing to make. Let me chop down some trees. I'll be back in your life in a minute. Timber. Boom. Okay. So I think one thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to try and find our way back to the place we just were and see if we can open up some crates uh, using our axe. Maybe there we will find some of these other resources that are required for the cooking uh, station. So, 12 planks, we need 4 bolts and 3 driftwood. Let's do this, this episode. Why not, right? I'll put behind... Although, you know what one thing we're going to do right away? 
guys, is we are going to take this right here and oh, actually let's put these away too. We're going to take these two bits of cloth. Now we could use them to make a map, but uh, that would have been folly last time had I succeeded. We're going to make this. All right, and we're going to keep that on us just in case at this next location is the big bad bear. But uh, if memory serves, somewhere out our back door, if we hustle roughly in this direction, we will get back to that uh, tower and that big pile of loot. Where exactly was it? Somewhere in this clearing? Yes, okay. And now we get to use our axe to open up the crates that don't require the lockpick. Once that's done, we'll see if we can find enough bolts. Let's see what's in here. And just a warning, I think this is loud. Old rags, okay. One item per box. Steel pipe. Nails, okay. Well, we're not gonna have what we need. Is that it for crates? Yeah, that's it. So we'll have to return here when we have the lock pick. I say we set out on a small adventure. I'm gonna pick a direction and head in it. You know, why don't, why don't I be smart? We'll be kind of uh, logical about this. And we'll head for the one that we went to at the beginning of the episode. Uh, I know there are crates there. And if I left anything behind, we'll grab it. But I'll empty the inventory a little bit. We will head up and around that mountain and towards that superstructure that I found last time. And we'll open up all the crates at the bottom of it. And we'll kind of know that's done. So when we do get the lockpick, we will have uh, only to come back and get those kind of couple of basic items so i'll save one more time always smart to do that and i'll meet you guys out at that tower that we went to at the very beginning all right that's it sort of to the southwest oh i meant to enter via the river but i guess you can swim and i don't think you can dive not yet at least in the er, pre-alpha Crossing via the river is a little faster. Just a <laughs> heads up. Oh, and I'm very cold. Good to know. All right, so a nice fun experience, but let's not jump in the water again anytime soon. Hopefully we warm up while we're out and about doing this. Yes, we're warming up. Good, 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 good. Meet you at the tower. As you can see from the indicator in the top right, our day is running out, but we got here just in time. We'll use our axe, open up these three, four, three crates, and we'll see if we can find boom, rope. Now, no luck so far. We're going to have to set out and find a new location on day, uh, day three. Is this day two? Nails? Uh-huh. Map hint. Larch trees map hint. Craft a map to view hint. All right. Well, we cannot do that yet, guys. We decided to use our cloth on uh, the med kit, but you know, our cooking expansion might have to wait, guys. This feels like a a good length for episode one. So let me get home, and then in the next episode, we'll set out for a new one of these. We'll try and find one, and I gotta get home before the daylight runs out on me. I tell you what. I just noticed this. Chance of poisonous. <laughs> I've been eating those. Gotta be careful with the dotty mushrooms, my friends. Um, it just occurred to me that I didn't really look through all of the craftables. So, for today's episode, we built the crafting room and we crafted an axe. I showed you how it's used on trees, and then we actually went back and used it on all those crates. Kind of a sensible first episode, I guess. Let's peek here. We are going to be missing bolts. Uh... Yes, we have no bolts. So let's peek in here one more time at the crafting before we call it a night. You can make bolts from pipe. How much pipe do we have? Uh, oh, we do have enough. Okay, so next episode we'll go searching for the driftwood. And that's along the rivers. And then we should have just about everything we need to, to do that. And we'll try a little bit of cooking tomorrow. But before we call it a day on today, I think I just stopped somewhere around here. We looked at the resources and I did do this med kit. But uh, tools wise, fishing rod. So we'll try that soon. 
Uh, I don't know what this is. It's locked. It's pretty hard to tell what it is. That's your lock pick. Okay. There's a cooking pot. There is a watering can. There is a pickaxe, a tent, and a campfire. And then obviously the map, which we're working towards, and the compass, which we could probably do in the next episode if we were so inclined. And then a whole bunch of decorations. So once our house is decorated up and we're kind of got 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 all the essentials done we've built all the expansions we can come back and add some fun decorations but uh we're gonna save that for later two days per episode feels just about right let's hit save progress let me head to bed guys and thank you for watching this is our beginner's cabin we will expand it and we will continue to explore this world but it's getting late and i'm getting tired so we're gonna call it on episode one of Among Trees, I'm Unite the Clans. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to check out more of this game. And um, I'll do another live premiere so we can hang out together while uh, you see the game for the first time. And we'll do the same thing tomorrow for episode two. Thank you for joining me, guys, and I will see you then.